In France today, they rolled out the red carpet for President Obama and the First Lady, who were effusively welcomed by French President Sarkozy and Carla Bruni Sarkozy. <laughs> Signs of Mr. Obama's immense popularity here were everywhere, including a campaign-style town hall with French and German students. Did you ever regret to uh, have run for presidency? Uh, Michelle definitely asked that question. On rocky relations between the U.S. and Europe in recent years, the president blamed both sides. There have been times where America has shown arrogance. But in Europe, there is an anti-Americanism that is at once casual but can also be insidious. And he called on all parties to set a new tone. America is changing, but it cannot be America alone that changes. On the eve of the NATO summit, where the war in Afghanistan is expected to dominate discussions, the president sought to reduce tensions caused by his request for more European help in the conflict. So I understand that there's doubt about this war in Europe. We have no interest in occupying Afghanistan. But the president is expected to stress, as he did to his audience of students, that in the greater war on terror, Europe cannot stand on the sidelines. Europe should not simply expect the United States to shoulder that burden alone. U.S. officials say the president will not pressure Europe for more combat forces at Saturday's NATO summit. Instead, he'll ask for more help in training Afghan forces. That's probably all he can get, given European public sentiment against the war. Chip Reed, CBS News, Strasbourg, France.